When we talk about weightlifting, when you've been talking about it over the last few years, really, in terms of building up towards Paris 2024, this is a category that regularly comes to mind as a uh, point of conversation. Yeah, for sure. This is probably the deepest category we're going to see uh, on the women's side, at least in the first few days. Yeah. Every single lifter here is exceptional. Yeah, absolutely. We just saw on our screens Huji Hui. She's the snatch and toad world record holder and Olympic champion. That right there was Mahela Kambe, who, of course, is the European champion. Incredible snatch, 92 kilos. Rosaji Ramos from the Philippines is Cheng Jing Lin from Taipei. We have two athletes from the Philippines here. This one, lovely Inan. Best snatch of 80 kilos. And then we have the number one 49 in the world right now, Zhang Hui Hua. She's held multiple world records in this competition, or in this category. She's the reigning world champion. The first of the two Americans here, Haley Reichert, a two time Pan American champion. Looking to move up ahead in the world rankings of this athlete right here. Jordan De La Cruz, also a two-time Pan Am champ. Uh, right now, she's one kilo ahead of, of her teammate, Haley Reichardt, in the world ranking. So the battle between those two is going to be very, very tight. Rira Suzuki, up next, an athlete who we all know very well, took the silver medal in 2021 at the World Championships in Tashkent. And our final lifter, we have Kambao from Thailand, who only recently moved to this uh, 49 kilo category is already boasting a 200 kilo total. Max 200, that seems to be the, the cutoff line really here between the athletes in this category that will finish in, in the top half and or the bottom half. Yeah, you really got maybe six lifters here that could, I mean, even more than that could mm -hmm. break over that 200 mark. We talked about this the other day, but last year's Worlds, we had every athlete in the 49 session enter with a 200 total. Only one yeah. walked away from that competition with 200. I think it's going to be a very different story Absolutely. here. Every single person here is in incredible shape, uh, and we'll see what uh, what that top total really is. Yeah, definitely. I mean, with an athlete like you know Hu Ji Hui, she's uh, really going to need to uh, try and move up ahead of Zhang Kui Hua. I mean, Zhang Kui Hua has that top spot, and of course, yep. for the Olympics, an athlete and the team can only send one athlete per country. And Hu Ji Hu Ji Hui is the Olympic champion. And she currently holds two world records, and yet she's not currently in a selected position. So she took some time off after the Olympics. She turned back up last year in Colombia, put in an okay total. You know, I think she even came second. But she's going to have had a year now of full-on proper training under yeah. her belt to try and move back ahead of Zhang Kui Hua, who seems to be progressing continuously. So the battle between those two Chinese lifters, you know, as exciting as the battle between the two U.S. lifters, Haley and, and Jordan... They've been going back and forth for years now. Yeah, you've, you've really got three competitions happening at once yeah. here, at least three. You've got USA uh, basically head-to-head -head against each other as well as China head-to-head -head against each other, and they're all trying to battle for top three position here at Worlds. So this is going to be very exciting. Yeah, yeah there's, there's the intra-country battle, there's the inter-country battle in trying to be the world champion, and then there's a battle to try and the meta battle, which is trying to get into the top ten to go to the Olympics. There's a lot going on at this World Championships. As we've mentioned, it's a, uh, it's a mandatory competition if you want to go to the Olympics next year. So that's why there are so many athletes here. Over 700 lifters have turned up to compete here in Riyadh, in the, well, in the sweltering Riyadh, we should say. A little bit toastier in the uh, competition venue today, I'd, I'd say, than it was yesterday, Max. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, I want to say it's about 110 <laughs> Fahrenheit outside. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know at what point saying it's a dry heat really uh, alleviates the pain of mm -hmm. <laughs> the extreme heat out here. Yeah, I just uh, took a 5, 10-minute stroll over from the training hall in the baking sun. It seems to get, it's sort of at its peak at about 3.30 p.m., which is right as we yeah. move from the training hall to the competition for the A sessions. So we're walking outside for, you know, five, ten minutes, and uh, I always like to have a bottle of water with me, and I normally finish <laughs> it off on the walk. And whenever I see someone heading out into no man's land, I, I give them one. Well, you know, I'll tell you what, any of these 49-kilo athletes that needed to <laughs> cut weight here, they could have just walked over here from the hotel. That's and very true. It would have been no problem. Yeah, I think a few athletes weighing in at the category below accidentally over here in Riyadh for this World Champs. But the, uh, the training hall was extremely fun today. It, maybe my favorite day so far. We arrived at 9 a.m. for the first session. 
and we saw uh, half of Team China. It was just sort of the women's team, which was great because normally there are so many athletes there, you just really can't get into, you know, filming just one person. There are coaches in the way, but there was it was kind of opened up a little bit, and we were able to film the ex world record holder in the 71s, Lao Gui Fang. She snatched 110. We saw Li Wen Wen clean and jerking 165. Enormous. Yeah. Had to hit in the back room. And then, out of nowhere from Indonesia, Rahmat Abdullah, the world record holder in the 73s, who's competing here as a light 81, he worked up. Well, he had ra he had straps on Max, so we thought, okay, he's, he's just going to do pulls here. And then we turn around, and he's going under the bar. And he <laughs> did clean plus front squat plus jerk with straps up to 195 kilos. Wow. Five kilos under his world record at 73. That's I think he weighs about 75, 76 right now. You know, the world record's 208 in the 81 kilo category, so he That's might just, huge. you know, play around here and, and accidentally walk away with another world record. You know, we saw the entire Armenian team doing that uh, maybe yesterday, doing some clean front squat jerk up to some very right. big weights. 220 uh, we saw. 220 from Lalyan, but when you compare that to uh, <laughs> 195 at 73, uh, quite impressive how big that is. Yeah. Yeah, unbelievable stuff. Making a statement to everyone out there what's going to happen here, hopefully, in a few days. Well, we saw Wirafon from Thailand, who's a 73, uh, also going to be competing, I believe, as a... either a, he's a, He might be a light 81 here. But he worked up to... No, I think he's 73. He worked up to 195. An amazing lift. Yep. And when Rahmat walked in a couple of hours later, I went up to him and I said, did you see the... And he finished it off and he said, the 195 from Wirafon? I said, yes. <laughs> he said, yeah, I saw it. And he, he didn't look concerned and I wondered why. And I no longer wonder why because yeah. I just saw him clean front squat jerk and it looked like he had another 20 kilos in the tank. So Yeah, he didn't wait. It took no time between no. any of those movements. Impressive. Yeah, then we saw Team Georgia was just in. Uh, the Bulgarians turned up. Team USA, um, I think we, we just saw Olivia Reeves snatched up to 100 kilos. Might have been a touch more, actually. Uh, clean and jerked, 135. So Team USA putting in some heavy lifts. Ryan Grimsland also snatched 142, which oh, wow. might be the heaviest we've seen in the snatch from a 73 here. We've seen some extremely heavy clean and jerks, but not so much in a snatch. He, he also did a 182. Oh, wow. Which that's is a good total. That's a very yeah. yeah. I mean, if he does that in competition, that's not a bad day. And he yeah. just did that in training. So Very respectable. Very good stuff in the training hall. Yeah. And, you know, the training hall is actually an interesting scenario because you definitely, without seeing it, you know, if you've only seen it on social media, you see one lift, one person. But when you're actually in the training hall, you can feel the energy and the yeah. vibes. You know, different uh, different teams show up. There's a little bit of tension there. Absolutely. Uh, especially when, when, you know, competitors are in the, the gym at the same time. Oh, you we really saw that, feel that Europeans, right? With yeah. Carlos Nassar, Nino Pizzolato. Yeah. Uh, we saw it with two of the 49s. Mihaela, who's competing now, and yeah. Julian Perrier, who just was in the B session. A lot of tension in the back room, in the, in the training hall when they were both there. Yeah, it really adds to the excitement of the whole competition. We can see on our screens now, this is the back room, the warm-up room, and it's actually laid out perfectly. I just popped into the back just to see where everything was and get my bearings. To the left of our screen, swinging her leg close to us, is Zhang Kui Hua. She's currently the world number one. Opposite her are two platforms. The furthest from us is Hu Ji Hui, the Olympic champion, and the one closest to us with no athlete on it right now is Mahela Kambe, who, you know, she placed fourth last year at the World Championships. She then won the European Championships, so she she wants the medal here. I mean, yeah. I'm not sure she has her sights quite on a silver. Her clean and jerk is a little bit below the, the two Chinese. It's, it's actually below the, the U.S. lifters as well, but her snatch is just so strong. She's definitely going to be eyeing up that bronze. But that's the case for a lot of these lifters. You know, a lot of them probably on, on their on their best days can, can certainly medal here. Yeah, So for it's sure. going to be who makes lifts. Yeah, absolutely. It's it, Of course it comes down to that in every case, but this will be so critical. I think every single lift in this session is probably going to be uh, pretty significant. You yeah. know, we see even the, the opening lifts here, 80 kilos. Uh, that's it. They're starting there and it's just going to go up from there. Yeah, absolutely. So here we have Mihaela from Romania. Very strong athlete. We've watched her a little bit in the training hall over the last few days. European champion, as I said, she went 92-106 back in April. Prior to that, her best snatch was 90. I mean, she's improved at every competition that she's ever been to, which is yeah. not something you can say about a lot of athletes. Uh, I think 10 internationals, and she's gone from 
67 to 70 to 73, 77, 80, 86, 87, 90, 92. So if you just follow that out, I think we can assume that we're going to see a 93, 94, something like that in the snatch. And she's, other than one blip, she's done the exact same thing in the clean and jerk, where she's improved every single competition since 2017. So, you know, 94, 108, something like that. She's going to be over 200, and you're not going to medal here if you're not over 200. Yeah, for sure. You know, you said it before this even started. We're looking at a bunch of experienced athletes. We've got multiple Olympians here, world record holders, former world record holders. Uh, and then, you know, you mentioned that Kambe may be the the runner up here, the, yeah. the sorry, up and comer, the, the uh, person with the greatest trajectory here, Absolutely. most improvement. And obviously, from what you just said, I think we're going to see something pretty special from her. Yeah. We were fortunate enough to talk with almost every athlete in this category other than the two Chinese lifters. Uh, had a little chat with them about how training's been going, uh, not just in the last few weeks, but this year. And uh, we did speak with Mahela. She said that training in 2023 has been very, very strong, uh, hard and decisive. Um, heaviest weights were at the European Championships. That's actually the most she's lifted, which is interesting. You know, I think oftentimes people assume that, uh, I mean, I assume as well that athletes hit bigger lifts in training than they do in competition, but it's not the case of everyone. And with Mahela, she, she hits her best uh, here in, in competition, which is always exciting to see because then you see, you know, a, a really true reaction when an athlete screams because they've made their final lift, often that is the most they've ever made. Yeah. It's just wonderful to see. Yeah, she's a very, uh, I would describe, colorful uh, colorful lifter, uh, as a lot of the Romanians are. Yeah. The Romanian team is, uh, they definitely are wearing their emotions on their sleeve. Yeah. Yeah, Mihaela described the competitors as strong and beautiful. She said that in competition, we're opponents, but afterwards, we're friends. Just a nice way to put it. Yeah. Softens the blow, I guess. Yeah, it does a little <laughs> bit. So here's Haley Reichert on our screen. Part of so we Team Garage Strength. Yeah. Yep. Dane Miller. Coach Dane Miller. We did actually have a change here. So the opening lift here is going to move down to 78. Yeah. This is going to be for Suzuki. So Rira Suzuki, an athlete that we've seen compete a fair bit over the last few years. Took the silver medal in 2021. Uh, she did not compete, but she she came and weighed in in the 22 World Champs, but she didn't lift. And then, of course, she took place fifth at the Asian Championships just recently. Snatched 83 there. This 78. Very comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, super okay. solid opener there. She's a very, very smooth-looking lifter. Great lockout. Very short as well for the 49 kilo category, able to pack a little bit more muscle on than some of the other athletes. Yeah, we saw that yesterday too. Some of the shorter athletes obviously mm -hmm. are gonna be a little bit more muscular. It definitely lends itself to a bit more success. You don't wanna be too tall in your weight class. Right. Yeah, well, I was watching Huji Hui the other day in the training hall um, and commented that it's shocking that she weighs the same as some of these other athletes. It, it's actually that she looks smaller because she is significantly shorter than a lifter like Haley or, or um, Mahela. You know, Huji Hui is much shorter, and, so she, and she has a very small waist, so she looks like a much smaller athlete. Yeah. But then her legs, just her quads are just enormous, and that's where the weight is. And it's no wonder that she can clean and jerk 117, 118. Uh, similar things with Zhang Hui Hua. Yeah, and you know, a lot of that is just genetics. People are mm. just built a little bit differently. Their muscles are made of something else. Yeah. Th <laughs> yeah. Something different than ours. Yeah, certainly true. So, change now. We're 80, which is um, a good point to be at. The winning snatch from the last session, we had two athletes made 85. Andrea de la Heran from Mexico made it first, so she walked away with the, the lead in the snatch. Julia Imperio also hit 85 kilos. But I would imagine that Unless there's a, a couple of errors, maybe all but one athlete, maybe two, will outsnatch everyone from the B session here. And then yeah. it's really in the clean and jerk that they pull apart. I mean, the winning clean and jerk in this session was 103. The winning total was 183. I think all of these athletes will be certainly over 190. So, Cheng Jin Lin from Taipei, opening attempt at 80 kilos. This actually equals her best. She's hit this at her last two competitions. Yeah. 
Brilliant. Very comfortable opener there. Yeah. Good. Really the solid. From the crowd. A little bit of a better turnout today. Yeah, Team China in the audience as well, so yeah, we'll yeah. definitely hear them. Lots of chants. Yeah, quite yeah. a bit. Yeah, we'll hear the chant of Jiao Jihui and then Jiao Huihua for the two athletes once they do come out. A little bit of a twist there yeah. as she stood up. Yeah, that whole right side of her kind of collapsed. But two made left so far. Here's Inan. a lift we don't know a whole lot about. No. Lovely Inan. Um, yeah, just three times internationally. Most recently the Asian champ. She placed 10th. I mean, it goes to show how stacked uh, it is uh, the Asian champs in this category. That she can then make an A session at the World Championships. Mm. Yeah, she pulled that much. pretty aggressively off the floor, mm -hmm. but didn't have the power at the end of the pull. Yeah, this weight would actually equal her personal best. Yeah, you almost wonder sometimes after an attempt like that as an opener, being in the A session, was that a stretch with the total to get her here? Mm. Hard to know. Yeah, I would have thought, I mean, placing 10th at the Asian Championships and then being in the top 10 in the world where we have athletes from Pan America and, and Europe, interestingly, just is it two athletes from Pan America and one from Europe and the rest are all from Asia? Yeah. No athletes from Oceania or Africa. No. So, yeah, it's, this category is really dominated by Asia. Yeah, you know, it's really important that you put your athlete in the best position to succeed, right? Putting yeah. them in the A session just to be there uh, may not always be the best case. So here's Rira now, second attempt at 80 kilos. She told us that this year her best snatch is 83 kilos. 111 in the clean and jerk. She's definitely in the mix with those numbers. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Solid, yeah. Very methodical. Even at this level with technique as good as that, she told us that her focus in training has been her snatch technique, as well as leg strength, just yeah. for the clean and jerk. But... You know, even when you move as well as her, you still got to focus on it. Even yeah. if just to ensure that you just you don't miss 97, 98% snatches. Even if you're not looking to increase your top number, you're just looking to improve your consistency above yeah. 90%. Yeah, there's always a bit of a challenge there, making sure that you're as efficient as possible. You're not wasting any energy in the pull yeah. or have any kind of issue there. You did see a red light on that. I'm guessing it's that left elbow, just a tiny wiggle there. Mm -hmm. She's a little softer in the elbows than some of the other athletes, but it's so smooth in the pull. Yep. So Inan now, second attempt. She missed 80 on her opener. Yeah, it looked to be pretty heavy. We'll see if that was just a mistake. Maybe got a little out of position in the pull. Yeah, it was a better attempt, but still the same kind of thing going on there. She's getting a bit behind the bar and just yeah. not really controlling it at the end of the pull. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. That weight seems to be a too heavy here as an yeah. opener, obviously. We wonder again, though, is that something that uh, was a choice mm. strategically to be in this A session with that kind of total? or? Uh, I mean, you, I wonder, did she put in a 200 kilo energy total to get into the session and... The 20 kilo rule, she has to open at at least 80, 100, and yeah. she's forced to open heavy. I mean, also, something that she mentioned recently was just the brutality of the competition schedule at the moment. You know, this year alone, she's competed at the Southeast Asian Games, the Asian Championships, um, and this World Championship. So there's a lot of competitions that she's got to deal with. Yeah, for sure. No doubt she'll probably. You know, potentially go to Doha as well in December to try and move up into the top 10 if, if she doesn't make it here. Yeah, there's still several several chances here for athletes to move up into the top to qualify for the Olympics. Right now, the the tenth, the tenth, total of the athlete in 10th in the world for the Olympic rankings 
has a 184 kilo total. Jessica Hernandez from Mexico. So, you know, a lot of these numbers, athletes are going to keep pushing and pushing. So, really, if you want to feel safe at this point, you want to be over 190, I'd have thought. The 190 kilo total is probably enough to keep you in the top 10. Yeah, I would imagine that's going to be plenty to get into the Olympics. Here she is. She needs this to stay yeah. in the competition. She's going to have to make this lift. This is enormous. Second one was better than the first. Uh, so close. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame because that one looked to be the closest of the three, but it just took her too long to get there. Yeah, so right now here we see 81 going on the bar. Ramos is going to be the lifter. Mm -hmm. Unless a change, this could be a lot of moving around here actually. I wouldn't be surprised to see quite a bit of uh, jockeying around because a lot of lifters here in this 80 to 83 range. Thomas's clock is running though. Oh, there we yeah. go. Yeah, that's the change we expected. So 81 will be Reichert. We'll see if she stays here as her, her opener as well. So in the back room, Haley Reichert just made 79 kilos, looked good. Jordan a little bit further behind. Reichert moved up as she's, well. Because um, she's a touch stronger in the snatch, so Jordan's on 70. And then Ramos again, now the lifter. So yeah, Ramos next at 82. Haley will be out after her. She has 82. Jordan also has 82, but she's only just hit 70 in the back room, as we just mentioned, so she'll likely bump up a little bit. In fact, she's still on 70 in the back room, so she's going to bump up a fair bit to buy some time. Two kilos under her best. Wow. Oh, very strong. She had to settle a little bit yeah. at the bottom there, but totally in control of that lift. Yeah, she sort of absorbed it, brought it in, and just held it a little bit and then yeah. came up. A yeah, very nice opener. So 82, this would be a very heavy opener for Reichert. Yeah, she's coming out here. Mm-hmm. Reichert and De La Cruz have battled back and forth here for their chance to go represent the United States in the Olympics. Reichert was ahead before De La Cruz passed her recently, so yeah. Reichert is the underdog now. That's oh, good. Do you think there was nice. a little bit of a... No, Could not be. at all. I, look, I checked the, the view from the front. It was totally fine. Great. She just has that little... Yeah, one red. Oh, interesting, yeah. She got no, a that was a great lockout, I thought. It's a solid opener for yeah. her. That 82 puts a lot of pressure on uh, De La Cruz yeah. here. Yeah, this is really exciting stuff. Yeah, I think sometimes it's hard to tell when, you know, when we're doing commentary and... We're trying to stay composed. I don't want it to be lost on people how excited we are watching this session. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, this sort of A session is the sort of thing that we think about and we're so excited to for, you know, all year. Like, talking about what's going to happen here, yeah. who's going who's gonna to pass through. There are so many narratives going on, so many battles within the countries and then between them. There's a lot. Yeah, if we can just shed some light on that for the viewers, mm -hmm. we've done our job as consummate professionals, I think. <laughs> Two kilo jump here for Lynn. 82 kilos. Hey! 
Oh. Oh. You know, she rushed through that top of that pull. You could see her hips came forward to the mm. bar pretty aggressively. It was a big lift. I mean, yeah. her best ever is 80. She's made that of the last two competitions. So this was for a new personal best in competition. Yeah, we're seeing a little bit of this. You know, these, these lifts are huge. They're yeah. really, all these athletes are pushing themselves as hard and as far as they can to make sure they get as close to that total as they can to qualify. But then at the same time, no one wants to be left behind in the actual competition here. Yeah. So Suzuki here now with 82. This is her final attempt, another two kilo jump. She has a slight tendency to overextend, leaves the bar a little bit forward. She's currently sat sixth in the world. Really patient here with the pull. Oh, uh, yeah. Just a hair out front there. Yeah, that left elbow as well just yeah. didn't lock out properly. But the good thing for Suzuki is she is in sixth in the world. And sixth is a pretty yeah. secure position. You know, 194 kilos. Right now, athletes out of the outside of the top 10 are trying to get to the 185, 186 mark, not the 194 mark. So yeah. she doesn't necessarily need to prove herself here in order to get a spot to Paris. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, a lot of these athletes are fighting a battle on both fronts. They're trying to move their totals up and try to defend uh, from mm -hmm. anyone who's encroaching from the back. You know, this is a, a, a risky place to be. Yeah. 82 now. She missed this on her second attempt. It's a two kilo international record for her. Oh, oh, much brilliant. much Ooh. better. A little bit of a little, little hop forward. Yeah. yeah, she swung it a little bit, yeah. but she had the power. She, she pushed through that. Very nice. So Jordan went from 70 in the back room to 74. She's now got 82 low. In fact, I think she just made 82. There's been a jury stop. So she snatched 82. She wanted to come out for 84 for her opening attempt. Now, what do we think this is for? Let's take a look at the replay. There's no press yeah, out. Those elbows were were flawless. She didn't touch glutes to the platform, did she? I don't think so. I, I think I she was was yeah. pretty clean there, actually. I don't know what that could be about. Well, the clocks have restarted. Yeah. And Jordan De La Cruz is going to be out next. Huge opener here, 84 kilos. Yeah, she has a best snatch of 89. I remember when she did it, 89, 111, and she hit the 200. Yeah. That's her first time hitting 200, which, that was uh, yeah, total not many athletes here have ever done. Actually, only four athletes here have wow. ever done 200 or more. She's moved up even to 85. Wow. Well, I spoke to the coach of Haley and uh, Dane, and Dane Miller said that Jordan was in very good shape. Yeah. So he was aware of the shape of essentially the competitor, um, I just went over and, you know, I like to get some thoughts from the coaches about how things are going for the commentary. And, and he said, yeah, Haley's looking good and Jordan's always strong. So, yeah, that's uh, that's a good place to be when your competitor's coach yeah, yeah. knows you're in good shape. Two kilo jump here for Ramos. Nice adjustment yep. again. Just like the first. Yep. <laughs> Catches that bar kind of high, but rides it into a perfect position. Mm -hmm. Settles and then stands. So Zhang Hui Hua, the world number one right now, is up at 65 kilos in the back room. Of course, there's still five athletes to come out. Hu Ji Hui, Mihaela Kambe, Zhang Hui Hua, Jordan, who I think we're about to see. Uh, and oh, Kambe here Kambe. at 85 now. I think Mihaela, no, she might come out or she might bump up. We'll have to wait and see, but yeah, she's, she's looking so strong. What did she make in the training hall the other day? Was it 80 or was it 85? I put it up on the Weightlifting House Instagram, but she worked up to right around here like nothing. Yeah, she's easily one of the best snatchers here. Yeah, number three, I think, in the yeah. snatch. Yeah. So 85 may be a little more conservative opener for her. It looks like she's coming... No, she's not. Nope. Nope. She's we'll bumped see. up, so it's going to be Jordan. Yeah. 
with coach Spencer Arnold. You can see Piros Dimas, Mike Gatone in the corner with them too. Says her personal best is 207. I believe that was as a 53 or a 55. It's 200 at this weight category. Oh, okay. A little over pull. Yeah. She looks strong. Yeah, she pulled it high. Well, it's a, it's a heavy opener, yeah. so could yeah. just be a bit of nerves, and, you know, she definitely looks strong enough for it. So in the back room, the three sort of front runners in the snatch, Zhang Hui Hua, Hu Ji Hui, and Mahela Kambe, all have just snatched 65 kilos. So Mahela definitely not coming out at the 85 mark. No, no, she's bumped to 89. We've got right. three lifters here with 89 as their openers. We'll see if those hold up, but those are big. Quick reminder, the snatch world record is 96 kilos. That's held by Hu Ji Hui, who's currently got the joint heaviest opener. The three of them are all in at 89. Whether we get to that 97 world record mark. That's so big. It's so, yeah, it's, it's, it's such a massive <laughs> lift. I mean, we're going to see athletes. Well, to snatch that, you're basically snatching double body weight yeah, it's within a, a kilo. It's almost a holdover from the 48 class where I right. believe 98 was the record. 98, yeah. 85. Opening yeah. attempt for Kambao. She has a best of 90. Wow. Smooth. Straight Very up. solid. Work. Yeah. No messing around. Exceptional. Wow. So with that, she puts herself in the mix here. Oh, if yeah. She can keep doing that. Well, she's one of the four that I mentioned who've totaled yeah. 200 before. So she, I mean, she's looking at a bronze or a silver or, or, or a gold. We don't know. You know, we have to see what happens with the clean jerks. Yeah, absolutely. But she definitely is going to be in the hunt. It's like Reichert now with 85. This is a very big lift for her. It definitely puts pressure on her teammate, who she's yeah, it really does in a battle with to try and qualify for the Olympics. They can only send one per weight class. Yeah, seeing as Jordan's plan was to just lift heavier on each subsequent attempt compared to Haley. If Haley makes this, that sort of puts a spanner in the works for Jordan, who missed her opener at this weight. Ooh, <sighs> just a right little there. bit shy. Right there. Yeah. So now they're they're basically on even ground here. Well, Each her best is 86. So that's yeah. you know that is way up there for for Haley. Yeah, it's a big second attempt. I believe she hit in the uh, USA training camp that they just went to in Paris, around the 108, 109 mark in the clean and jerk and training. Pretty good. Yeah. But she's always had a strong clean and jerk. That, that's where her strength sort of tends to lie. Yeah. Her coach actually showed me a video of her doing 114. Really? Yeah, back in uh, at the national championships. Wow. So she has a lot in the tank if she can, if she needs to, she can tap into. American records 112, I believe, from Jordan, who's now taking her second attempt here at 85. Plenty of strength in the last attempt. Well, oh, easy I mean, that snatch. Is so perfect. Very good. Yeah, very comfortable. First one was probably just a bit of nerves. Now, unbelievably, Hu Ji Hui, the world record holder, just missed 75 wow. and then made it. You know, we've heard, we, <laughs> we see that often. I don't think that's actually too surprising. Some yeah. of the, the Chinese lifters will miss five attempts, come out and break <laughs> a world record. <laughs> well, famously, when Shi Ziyong hit the 169 world record snatch, he missed every lift from 120 kilos up. <laughs> every single lift. Then he came out and made three lifts. Yeah, saving energy. Yeah. Mahela's just made 75 in the back there. Probably four or five attempts out now, that, that front pack. Now, Haley, she needs this. Yeah. She really, otherwise, she's going to be at least three kilos behind Jordan, which is not a happy place to be for the, the trailing U.S. athlete. Yeah, she just cut that last pull, but very, very good technician here. Yeah, same yeah. Thing. close but didn't have the power there yeah yeah there's a decent a amount of, of height it's just yeah not getting back in front of the bar but she is so strong the cleaner jack yeah 
Well, we'll see. You know, in the battle between the two of them, uh, between Riker and De La Cruz, we'll see if De La Cruz takes a big jump here, goes for uh, a really strong lead, or just yeah. takes a little bit to put that pressure on Riker. Well, there is a documentary being made at the moment about the battle between some of these U.S. women in weightlifting. Uh, and I know that they're even as we speak, they're filming these two athletes right now, just building out the next episode. I think they're releasing an episode on Friday. The, uh, the final attempt is the name of that documentary. So it'll be interesting to see how that progresses. I mean, it's sort of dictated by the athletes. Yep. Okay, third attempt now for Ramos. She made 82 and 84. This, her final attempt. Two kilo personal best if she makes it. So recently she started training with Highland Diaz. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. All yeah. three attempts just flawless. <laughs> yeah, she mentioned actually that training has been a new challenge. She's, she's training with the Olympic champion and her new coach is Julius, who we can probably see is about to appear here, the husband and coach of, um, who did I just mention? Uh, Highland Diaz. So she's certainly working with the best in the business right now. Yeah, it shows exceptional lifting there. So what what do you think Jordan does? Does she come out at 88? Is 87 yeah. a, a smarter bet? I mean, well, 89 is her best, so I would be surprised. She wants to bump her uh, even yeah. though Haley might be too far behind now. She's going to think, what can I do to move up? She's at 198 is her best total. She's at fourth yeah. in the world. So 199, 200-ish, she'd love to get to. Yeah, she's really in the driver's seat. She yeah. could do basically whatever she wants here. I think a five-kilo jump would be mm -hmm. a bit aggressive for an American record, but... 88, 111 maybe, yeah. something like that. Yeah, exactly. Second attempt for Kambao, 87. Huge wow. pull there. Beautiful lift. That's massive. I think... A little bit of a wobble in her left elbow, though. Yeah, possibly. Let's we'll see, see what happens. Oh, yeah, three, three reds. reds. Yep. That's From our sort of side angle, it, it's difficult to see these replays. Fortunately, we, we also have some screens available to us to, to catch the, the replays on. Yeah. You know, this has been a, a challenge card being yeah. played here. First challenge card we've seen in an A session at this World Championship. Yeah. For those fans that uh, keep up with the news in the sport, the... So the three of, of you out there. Yeah, for the, the hubbub here is <laughs> very much about eliminating the press-out rule yep. in some degree, you know, maybe in totality or to, you know, modify the rules. So, you know, we're seeing kind of some of that issue here. That looked like a pretty clean lift to most people, but obviously a small bobble in the elbows yeah. or a little bit of a press-out. I don't think she's going to get away with it. Yeah. I mean, her left elbow, this angle won't help, but, yeah, that <laughs> yeah. is the worst angle you could look at. Her elbow's behind her head. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, but it's we've got it on the screen in the building, which is helpful. Pretty subtle from the front on. It's 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 not aggressive, but you know the rules are the rules. Yeah. Let's see, double it. That's the thing when when they challenge and the coaches play a challenge card and you watch it. If you can see some movement, yeah, y you just can't you can't give the lift. I mean, it's it's just the rule. Yeah, playing that you challenge know? card is almost uh, being it's a, a glutton for punishment. Really. Yeah. Yeah. It's so rare we see that overturned. It's like the teacher gives you detention. You ask if they meant it, and they say yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they rarely say no. Yeah. So three athletes still yet to come out. Let's see. Zhang Hui Hua has snatched 80 kilos, as has Mahela Kambe. Hu Ji Hui not yet there. Yeah. So Challenge card declined. You know, looking at these last... Five snatches here, assuming that Cambau repeats 87. Yeah. I could see De La Cruz taking a shot at 89 because she's really? trying to position herself here possibly for a medal. True. I mean, yeah. And it, she could hit it. Well, she wouldn't hit it first is the issue. Well, she won't hit it first, but she could potentially hang if uh, two other snatches don't go so well for, you know, yeah. she's got to put herself in the best position, assuming that no one else does the absolute best they can. Right. You always want to make sure in in weightlifting that you're doing the lifts you can make and, and not, 
you know, taking off, uh, Not biting. Not sucked in too much. To yeah, yeah, exactly. Biting off more than you can chew. So when this category began, the world standard was set at 91 kilos, which just goes to show how impressive this session is, where we're yes. going to see probably three athletes move ahead of that. Uh, Zhang Huihua hit 92 for the first world record, and then Hu Jihui single-handedly, 93, 94, 95, 96. She's broken it four times. She's also set two clean and jerk world records, then Zhang Huihua beat it. And then Mirabai from India actually holds that world record right now at 119. She's, I mean, she must be here and have weighed in, but she, she's not competing at this competition. The winning snatch last year, 93 kilos. Unbelievably, the, the silver medal was uh, 90. That was Mihaela. That's not going to hold at this World Championships. The, the, the level is just, as yeah. we approach the Olympics, you know, things are changing. Yeah, it just climbs up exponentially. So here's Kambao repeating her second. Got a press out, challenged it. It was upheld. Three kilos below what she made at the Asian Championships. Looked to be a better oh, attempt for sure. Really, yeah. Elbows held. Yeah. Elbows definitely held. That's a, such a nice lift. Gets three whites. And she Very needs good. that because, yeah. you know, she's actually had a bigger total than uh, Mahela Kambe. Mahela's best is 198, whereas hers is 200. But Mahela could open up a five, six, seven kilo lead maybe in the snatch. Yep. And kambao has got a stronger cleaner jerk, but I don't know if she's got a seven kilo stronger cleaner jerk. So. She really needed that lift, and she's going to have to hope that Mahela misses a couple lifts if she wants to move into that so sort of Cruz medal range. So taking 88 here. This would put her, uh, you know, another three kilos ahead of her teammate. But yep, six kilos up. We'll give her a good base to build for a bigger total, even though I don't think she's going to need that for the Olympics. Oh, that is one. Can she hold it? Very good adjustment She's there. She's save. Wow. <laughs> what Unbelievable. A solid lift. Yeah, with so much pressure on her. A kilo below her own American record, extending her lead ahead of Haley by six kilos. I don't want to say it too soon, but it, certainly in this battle between the two, it feels like it's game over. Yeah, for sure. That's, a, that's a, an authoritative lead mm -hmm. she's put up there. I mean, we kind of knew it was coming when we spoke to her. She said that this is the strongest year of training that she's had in a while. No major injuries. Focus on uh, developing and channeling force yeah. production, she told us. So, you know, she's done a good job. Her and her coach have done a good job of really sort of escalating their their abilities towards the end of the quad. They, mm -hmm. didn't, they didn't show up in full force. You know, she took a few meets to get to this number, uh, and it's showing up here now right when it matters. So this, Hu Jihui, the reigning world record holder, the reigning um, Olympic champion, yeah, and the world record holder in the snatch in total. Currently ranked as number two in the world behind her teammate. Just okay. incredibly strong. She's in, she's in better shape than she was yeah. last year, I, I tell you that. I mean, last year she, she looked like the weakest version of herself that we've seen in a while. Um, that 89, was yeah. not far off a power snatch, yeah. which is terrifying because she has such depth. Yeah, just an incredibly strong pull. Yeah, just probably the most telltale sign of the Chinese lifters is just absolutely extraordinary levels of strength. Look at this. Yeah. No wobble. Just incredible. Saw in the training hall, just drilling over and over, 35 kilos. She just had greens on the bar, over and over, 35 kilo snatches. There's a fair number of Chinese athletes in the stands as well. I think on the screen I just saw Pei Jin Yi, the 59. We've got, just looking around now, we've got Li Dai-Ins there. We've got Lao Gui Fang. A uh, good number of, there's probably 20 between athletes and coaches, 20 athletes here. Here we go. This is the world number one. This is Zhang Hui Hua. She's the reigning world champion. This is the athlete that Hu Ji Hui has to move ahead of. Only one of them can be selected for the Paris Olympics, and it's whoever ends up with the biggest total during this whole qualifying period. Yeah. 
Oh, a little oh. bit of a yeah, a little bit of a save there. Yeah, not she quite so comfortable as Hu Ji Hui. She has the mobility and the depth. You know, she can find that position she needs. Yeah, it's interesting. It's the exact same thing we saw with the American athletes here. Uh, you know, two teammates basically battling back and forth to get that spot. Presumably, Team China will pick the athlete who is ranked highest. That's what I mean. So they they have to do that. Yeah, but they can declare one of them injured if they right. believe that the other is actually in better shape yeah. at the point of the Olympics. Yeah. You wouldn't see that happening uh, in the U.S., obviously. No. But, you know, for in China, where the system is a little bit more centralized or extremely centralized, yeah. you're going to get possibilities like that. Yeah, absolutely. So opening now, just two kilos shy of her best. Wow. Her own European senior record. 90 kilos now, Mahela Kambe. Yeah, she's really making a, a statement here with this 90 opener. This is big. Yeah, absolutely massive lift. Fast, yeah. little hop forward. Oh, she's got to stabilize. She shakes out the nerves. You know, there was a little, little wobble there, yeah. but nothing, you know. I think that was too much of a problem. You know, so much power that I think it just kind of threw her off a little bit. That's yeah. a very strong opener for her. 90 kilos. Best is 92, and that <laughs> that's yeah. really heavy. Yeah, something that is, I will say, is surprising um, is the fact that she's actually wearing a new belt. And it is the sort of piece of equipment that athletes like to wear in. Yeah. You know, you would have thought, you know, you don't see many athletes put on a new pair of shoes the week before a competition. No, no. She's well, not had that belt more than three days. Yeah, you know, a belt a belt has to be comfortable. Yeah, right. right. And that's the kind of piece of equipment that, you know, is very, uh, it's very uh, tactile. Yeah. You know, it has to feel a certain way. Right. It has to work a certain way. You don't switch something like that unless you're absolutely sure of it. Yeah. Supple out of the bag, I guess. Yeah. That belt, yeah. So we're up now to 93. I'm surprised that these athletes are taking four kilo jumps at this point. Yeah, because these, these are huge jumps. Well, these do you know what another four kilo does? It's it puts you at yeah, the world record. That's true. So is the current world record holder, Hu Ji Hui, eyeing that up? Let's see. She made the 89 look, I, I mean, mean, just so easy. Dare we, dare we say it? Will we see possibly an attempt there? Well, obviously, this lift I mean, will tell us. Yeah, yeah. You know, strong openers are strong mm -hmm. openers, but seconds and thirds are different. If she makes this and Lang Gui Fang doesn't, then I think we're going to see it. Unbelievable. Oh, so strong. She Forward, can do it. Though. That, yeah. was a bit, that was a bit harder. A 97 from there. Yeah. She was a little wobbly. Yeah. Like, not wobbly, but her elbows, one of them wasn't as locked out. Yeah. Well, you know, that style, right? That, that really big overextension, a huge pull like that does lend itself to having the bar not travel as high, and you end up having to kind of sneak under it and it's a little forward so you're gonna see a little bit more wobbly uh, elbows you see that yeah just barely gets under mm -hmm. it in time no, it, it's interesting when I find that watching sometimes when you watch the heavier men compete the weights are so abstract yeah that it's hard to grasp what they're doing but 93 kilos not so much an abstract weight no. a lot of people have felt 93 yeah. kilos but it doesn't compute when you see someone as small as, you know, Zhang Hui Hua right now walking up to it. You just think, how is it possible that you can do this? It's just unbelievable. Yeah, these athletes are extraordinary. So another lift at 93. Unbelievable. Wow. Oh, better than her first. Yep. And, and, you know, the more precise oh of the two Chinese word. lifters here, that's a much better snatch technically. Yeah. More vertical. She's not wasting a lot of energy or time getting overextended there. So this, we're going to see an this assault a, now yeah. on, the, uh, on the senior European record, well, her Cam own record by Kambe. She's going to try and take it. She's bumped up for again. 94. She doesn't want any part of 93. Yeah. She's going to say... Well, this is smart because yeah. the others might go for the world record Absolutely. and miss. She could set herself up for a gold if she can make this. But it Ma will be a two kilo personal best. Yeah, making this lift would be the most brilliant move she could pull off here. You see Shizu Young in the crowd there watching on. He competes in 
I'm not sure exactly when, but he's in the 81C session and is lifting, but has uh, just put in a lower total because he's not been training quite so long. Although, I was informed that he's, since coming back, he's already snatched 155 kilos. I saw him make 145 the other day. Okay, here comes Mihaela. 94 kilos. She's got a huge pull, but has a small tendency to jump forward. Yeah. Two kilo personal best. Very aggressive lifter here. <laughs> ah, yeah, you could see it. Was just pushing her hips forward to the yeah. bar there. Didn't Not a good spot to no. be in. Didn't look quite like she had the speed. Yeah. And I think she's going to be following herself here. The other two athletes in at 95. Yeah, that's the brutal part there. She's at 94. She's not going to go up. Both now, do we think... Well, it looks take like the Chinese both moved up to 95, though. They, yeah, did, they yeah. didn't steal the clock, which no. is, which is a, a blessing for her. Yeah. They may both see themselves as not even bothering with her. So she's going to take a minute here. Doesn't even take the belt off. Just waiting. Yeah, she knows she's got to come back out, so it just saves time. I mean, this is still a huge over 90 kilos. I yeah, mean, that is. I think that's around. That is four kilos heavier than her heaviest opener from when she set the European record. And she's really. I mean. To try and put on another two kilos in the snatch in a... It's only been four months since she hit yeah. that 92. You know, she's been looking fantastic yeah. in the training hall. Uh, 94 is there. She yeah. can make it if she can clean her technique up a little bit. Be just a little better above the knee. But you know who's looking better is Hu Jihui. Yeah. She's the Olympic in a, champ. She's in a league of her own here. Yeah. That 93. I mean, you know, Zhang Huihua made it and it, it did look wonderful. It has to be said. But... And the way that Ji Hui made it just yeah. beggars belief. Ji Hui makes you think there's maybe 10 kilos more. Uh -huh. Everyone else is showing that it's a heavy weight. There she goes. This for the lead. Final attempt. She had so wow. much more speed. What Can she hold it? Oh. Oh, it's so close. Corrected everything she could have there, but was still a little bit forward. Devastating stuff. Wow. What a fight. She pulled it with more speed. She was quicker in the turnover. Just a touch out in front. And, you know, when the snatch's in yeah. front, you've got to run it out and get yourself back under or in front of it. What an extraordinary attempt, yeah. though. If she'd rolled that bar back and pulled from the back of the platform, she might have had enough yeah. runway. Yeah. To have you made can watch it. here. Look at this. There it is. She's yeah. under it. She's running. Ugh, she just can't. So close. She's very frustrated. Yeah. Okay, so it's Hu Ji Hui, the current world record holder. She's going to come out. This is a kilo under her world record. First one was incredibly strong. Her opener. Second one was a little bit forward. Still very strong. We'll see if she can clean this up more. Such a powerful lifter. Oh yeah, better God. than the second. Give her a fourth yeah. attempt. Let's see the a world record. Oh my wow. word. Well, so now Boy, that she's in shape this year. Yeah. You know, at this point here, they're so evenly matched, I can't see a bigger attempt than 96. Do you think, well, here's the thing. Zhang Huihua is a stronger clean and jerker. Yeah. Just, you know, only by a tiny bit, but by a kilo or two. If she just equals this 95, yeah, then she, she's in a great spot. Yeah, she could equal it or take the kilo for that gold in the snatch. Yeah. That, that's definitely a, uh, a move here that the trainees like to do. If they're going to win it, they're going to win all three. What's it? Is no, it she's equal the world it. record? Yeah, yeah she's, she's going to take it. 95. I think she's going to look to... She, I mean, she just got to stay in front. That's yes. what she's yeah. got to do. Just exactly. stay ahead of who she we Don't let her move ahead in the rankings. Yeah. 
And now her 89 was good, her 93 was better. Here's 95 for the reigning world champion. Grip inside the rings. So narrow. Oh, beautiful lift. The best again. Yeah, uh, no question. Good, better, best. That could have been an opening lift. I mean, that could was have been. exceptionally strong and Both so of them. precise. Both of them could have snatched a world record. Yeah. I mean, wow. how has she done it? Uh, it's so extraordinary. Yeah, just brilliant stuff there from the two Chinese lifters. Hu Kui hit it first, so the Olympic champion takes the gold. The world champion takes the silver. The European champion takes the bronze. It's 95, 95, and 90. Yeah. In fourth place, Jordan De La Cruz, 88 kilos, six kilos up on Heidi Reichert, who made 82. I mean, I have been raving about this session, excited about it, hyping it up for so long, and it didn't disappoint. Yeah. You this know, could we have seen a world record? Oh. Probably from a couple of them. Yeah. But it, I mean, this this session is everything I'd hope for. Yeah, and everyone's in great shape. Yeah. You know, that's what really makes these uh, fantastic sessions, right? Kambe is in very good shape in the snatch. Yeah. You know, really close with that 94. That would have been a two-kilo record for her. Uh, and then we have the clean and jerk here. Everybody is a strong, well, not everybody's a strong clean and jerker, but everybody's opening pretty strong here. Uh, we only have one athlete below 100. And that could change. Yeah. That's from uh, Ramos, whose best, well, best clean jerk is 90, 99 so you know she might I guess she, she might open up at that 98 but we'll, uh, yeah. we'll just have to wait and see very very strong session yeah, so, so how I mean, we didn't have many misses either no that was a very good session overall yep 30 attempts 10 misses that's not bad two thirds made one third missed interestingly we didn't see many uh Many missed third attempts. Yeah. Um, see here. Inan, of course, bombed out in the snatch. She missed 80 kilos three times. Looks like she is going to continue on. She's asked for 103 rather than having just outright pulled out of this session. So I think she'll continue on in the hopes of, you know, maybe a personal best. 103 is her best. She's asking for it on her opener, so clearly hoping to get something big in the lift there. There's that great 82 kilo lift from Cheng Jin Lin. Great save, got it extremely low. Here's a very solid lifter yeah. here. Ramos made all three snatches, all very, very solid. Right, her 86 is just incredible. Yeah, there's the 85 kilo opener from Cam Bao. She's been in for 105 kilos for opening attempt. If you're interested, Hu Ji Hui, has 112 written in. Zhang Huihua has 113 written in for their openers. They're just quite a way ahead of everyone else. Interestingly, Mahela Kambe has got 100 kilos written in. And that, yeah, that's and big. It, it's big, but I mean, it's probably, she'll probably bump it up a little bit, but she realistically will be one of the first athletes out. You know, one of the last to finish in the snatch. That's true. She's got to warm up very quickly. Her best clean jerk is 106. It lags behind some of these other athletes. Yeah. So yeah, it's and it's yeah, it's a tough spot to be in. You're almost the last snatcher, and then you're basically running to the back, warming up for the clean and jerk. Yeah, uh, it takes quite a bit out of you to yeah. do that. It's not so fun. Jordan De La Cruz has got 103 kilos written in. Haley Reichart has 104. So the battle between them in the clean and jerk certainly continues on, though perhaps not in the total. Riro Suzuki, 80 kilos she snatched, 106 she has written in. So yeah, this, this clean jerk session certainly looks to be a very, very exciting one. We do of course have the men's 55 kilo session coming up after this. That starts at 7 p.m. local time, that's 5 p.m. in the UK, that's midday, 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Californian time. Max, speaking of Californian time, how's your jet lag getting on? It's uh, it's getting on, that's for sure. Yeah, just a 10 <laughs> kilo time difference for you. Yeah. It's, I mean, you'd be waking up in California right about now, I think, but coming to the end of our day. Yeah, the uh, the heat here, I think, has, has completely distracted me from the jet <laughs> lag. <laughs> just one too many pains to deal with, and, you know, heat seems to be the priority right now. Heat yeah. and thirst. Yeah, the body is so disorganized here. Yeah, right. 
All around, though, very solid venue, really nice, uh, very accommodating. Yeah, yeah, definitely very accommodating. A few, uh, not so much technical things, but just in terms of the set and the cameras, a few things that are being worked on by the production team just to try and improve the quality of what we're all seeing.